Welcome back to Words of Paradise. I'm your host, Leon Idol, and you know what we like to do on the weekends? We like to take it easy and do a nerdcore anime reaction. I know I should have done one yesterday, but there was just too big a news for that dumb Guardians of the Galaxy article. If you haven't watched, watch it. But you know what? Here we are now, and Can Steady has put out the Ash Ketchum Rap Cipher. That's right, a rap cipher with everyone playing different versions of Ash Ketchum. I don't think anything's ever been done like that in a cipher before, and it's got my favorite Zach B on it. So we're gonna give this a listen and see what we can glean from it in this reaction. Let's get to it. Alright, out the gate, you can already tell just from this little bit, they're going very much for like a champion sounding thing, which works. I mean, we're about to see Ash Ketchum leave the series after being a part of it for almost 30 years. Ash Ketchum is going away and he left a champion. So we need some very queen or rocky sounding instrumentals to befit a champion. Let's go. to be the very best my motto whenever i met with lost all right we're, we're gonna you know from the get-go we're having zach b start off the original incarnation of ash ketchum i'm gonna rewind this i want to get this from the beginning because you all know how much i love zach let's do it i had to be the very best my motto whenever i met with lost i don't wallow never had to catch them all they just follow, follow, follow. and no one else can match it when i clear doubts i can make it happen and if i got help then we'll see who's laughing you can count potential when you check the jacket always bounce Ooh, that was good. Back and try to make recoveries. Not discouraged by the ones above yeah. me. Every journey's got some new discoveries. I suck at my love and introductory. Love and introductory. <laughs> Just like Butterfree. Glad you found someone to land in luxury. I don't have time for me to wait and wonder when in seconds I can heal the damage done to me. Damage but not to bikes. Nope. Guess it's time for you to take a hike. Oh, that was so good. You had that nice emotional little moment. You know, I suck at goodbyes. It's like butterfree. Some some just really hard hitting emotional. Like that's right. We're saying goodbye to our boy. And then the line about bikes. He can, he can repair anything, but not bikes. Excellent little use of comedy there, especially because you didn't ham it up. Zach never really hams it up. He's got a very, very iconic delivery, and it actually works for a comedic line like that. I went through hell like almost overnight and have the gall to say that I should know my types. I should know my types. What can I say? I can't believe I woke up that late. I woke up that late. Missed my chance to make a first pick, but found them all in just a few days. Just a few days. days. Don't know why I was so stubborn and stuck in my stuck in my head. Was too ambitious. If there was a chance in front, I wouldn't miss it. Climb up from the bottom just for recognition. Keep them what they taught and don't forget the vision. Follow on our own goals. Didn't give up on a lot, but even if I did, then no one now we won't fold. Never treat us all better with my friends together. Thought we couldn't grow old. Let the same all surrender. Where are my contenders now? The kids stone cold. What a, I was wondering if there was going to be any sort of that like Mewtwo, you know, strikes back sort of bars in there because that was really, you know, that was that was where Ash became a man, even if he didn't remember it afterwards because Mewtwo wiped everyone's mind. But uh, that was great. That was it was a very, very um, I mean, if, if you know Zack's style, then that probably wasn't anything mind blowing to you. By the same token, Zack's delivery is it's crystal clear. No one enunciates like him in all a nerdcore. He always does does these very introspective sort of raps. I mean, not always, but that's his specialty, is the very introspective raps. Like, that was, that was great. I enjoyed it. Uh, I think it's a very strong one to start the cypher. Let's see who we got next. And um Okay, we got GE. I don't think I've heard GE. Maybe he's been on other cyphers, but I definitely don't think I've heard any of his solo stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's check it out. Back with the sequel, Beast Mode, ever since I smashed through the league, bro. Also, sorry to keep pausing you there, G. I like this little change up with the beat, like it's a bit more laid back, got a little bit more uh, you know, swagger to it, all right. Ask if they need smoke, blast in these beads, drill my quill is nice, so back off the heat. Yo, I told them that I stay about my money, need a payday for a feature. These bands all on my green, they look like Casey's Chikorita, if you fake it. Eh, very, very way of rhyming feature with Chikorita, but you using that green reference, that was good. I see what you did there. We appreciate stuff like that in here. And trick I see ya, my vision like a hoot hoot, totally connected since my decks it got that Bluetooth. Yeah, and that rocket ain't stopping me. I'm a top of these ops. I be like a sprout, how I'm towering, Jesse Wobbly Wild. I be on my poly, so probably cause that King Zoo rock. I'm an obvious prodigy, tell him. 
that King Do Rock, you know, we're talking about the King's Rock item that makes Politoed evolve. Like that, that was pretty good. Nice little reference in there. There's, a, I, I'm really digging this smooth sort of like sleek delivery where Ash, you know, he was always. Uh, probably a bit overconfident, but Ash is a very confident character, so I think having that confident delivery, uh, it really works for this. Just slower than a poke, and they know I've been the goat, when he show them how I roll, like, just ask Gary what it's like, boy, I'm scary in a fight, I don't care about a type, nah. I mean, that's very true, Ash does not care about a type. What's that, you're throwing out a rock-type Pokemon? Go, Pikachu. Day one when you saw the legend get taught a lesson I'm gold but my heart elect Taught a lesson but oh, okay that, that was a good little hold on I'm gonna roll that back I really liked that Nah Day one when you saw the legend get taught a lesson I'm gold but my heart electric damn That was all that that as much as I love you Zach again I can't say it enough you're my favorite that little bit right there that you know a legend lesson uh, that was, and then my heart electric. It was a very seamless little flow. I, is it simple? Yeah, sometimes it's the basics, you know. But I was just, I was on Twitter. I was going through Twitter. Digs the prophecy said sometimes you gotta just go back to basics, and that's what that was there. That's such a a simplistic little scheme, but man, did it hit! Sometimes going back to basics is how you gotta do it because that was so refreshing to hear. Second place ain't nothing new to you. I'm sunning you. Your silver medal's looking up to Lugia. Gonna start all over again and no man. All right, Mateo is in like every Pokemon uh, rap cipher out there, which is great. Mateo is awesome. Uh, his solo stuff works great as well. Uh, Mateo is awesome. I can't say it enough. But man, does he shine in these Pokemon ciphers with the you know the, the Cam does. So there's a reason Mateo gets up on every Pokemon track, and he is doing as much as I love the original Gen One 151. The Hoenn region is my favorite. So we got Mateo, you know, who is great at the Pokemon ciphers, doing my favorite generation of Pokemon. Pokemon. Don't disappoint me, my man. Over metals looking up to Lugia. Gonna start all over again in no man's land, but the master's road never ends. And all of my friends, we walk different paths, but in Hoenn, I'll be first to advance. When I be the first to advance. Game Boy Advance is what these games came out on. Very excellent work there. Lancy Sky, they'll see why I can dash and fly past the bad team guys. And I train to fight in my contest, it's not quite bright and beautiful. Okay, so now it's starting to sound like Mateo. That's usually he has this more like like sort of mid tier, not not mid tier, like mid tone voice, uh, edging on the high end. He started this off real low. I was like, ooh, this is kind of a different sort of Mateo than I'm used to, and he's just eased into what we're all used to hearing. I like that. But if it's destiny, I could be the mentor and mentee. We could put our heads or could be a team, the best this world has ever seen. I'm on the beat and go off the dome, it's like torque steam and like free coal. If you give me a piece of that loose leaf, then all I'll spit is bullet seeds. So lend an ear like it's Max and Brock to me. You cannot compete. You'll be shocked to see how I'm rocking this on the armor and got this plot under lock and key. I can brawl with flattery, rocks and watson and crush the magma and aqua team. Cause a hero's what I wanna be. Pardon me, I mean gonna be. Shooting the back five, it's a battle when a loser is it'll. That was great. Eh, what I want to be. Pardon me. Gonna be. Like, oh, just exuding that confidence. Again, Ash's character's all about confidence. I was actually kind of worried. I won't lie. Going into this cipher, I was worried. How do you have multiple different rappers with multiple different personalities all do a variation on the same character? Especially a character like Ash, who has been done in other ciphers. And, and, like, there's only so many ways I would think that you could interpret a character. But this has honestly felt incredibly consistent so I'm, I'm impressed I hope we can keep that up you can do to make ass time move with the crew it's no mystery and knew that there's something more precious than rubies and sapphires Such a more beautiful stance higher up in the stands while I'm cheering all my friends now I know better to question whether make it to the stage of blaze you can master the blaze she can a very clever play on blaze again and I mean the right fit the rhyme scheme perfect uh, Oh, Mateo, you just got it, man. Iron Tail, not just the story of all of the medals I'm getting when my septile prevails. I'll switch you in two with the terracotta ribbon. Top eight, but you know I'm forever grand. On the new frontier, we have legend swest. Champ, they asked me to lend a hand. A brain like mine, it cannot rest. Part in the game since day one. All right, Ham Sandwich. He's in. He, he's incredible. Uh, m me and Ham had a bit of a disagreement on Twitter about a month or so ago. That being said, I I'll hold. We got different opinions. It's fine. Ham Sandwich is one of the best in the game. I mean, he he is the nerdcore Childish Gambino. There's no other way to put it. The dude just oozes effortless cool, and I have no doubt that he's going to bring something amazing to this. Let's see what you got, Ham. 
one, but I still get a part with my day ones. I've been looking for the sauce that say one stay on the move from nation to nation. Just dropped in center for the long haul, and I didn't come here to play small ball. A palm tuck when I take my straw and I blaze my blunt soon as I make Paul fall. Cause he couldn't make Tim Chart do it. Took that mind that I made him look stupid. Looks ain't all when you wanna be ruthless. You can make a legendary mind look useless. I've been taking misfits, making legends, daily grinding 12 to 11. You'd really think that I'd roll with seven based off the pressure when we together we a force of nature. Scorching blaze, dirt the source, of course I'm the coordinator. Your time to reign has been short and tapered. This is a normal day for me. I'm the sort of player who don't know the meaning of giving in. I'm on the field trying to get a win. Even though I got rivals who meddle in, I get to pedal in. I'm going straight to the top. Ain't gonna stop. Get to the semis and wait. Yes, who on his team? I guess that I lost. But I can't be upset by the way that I fought. I can't All right, that was good. I've been sitting here like, okay, he's still going. He's still going. Like, this was difficult to find a moment to pause. I had to pause and give commentary, but he was just, like, in a zone. Uh, you know, rapper's flow. He was in a literal flow state. What can you say? That was great. And then he's like, what? I guess I lost? Much like Zach's, you know, little uh, comedic moment about the bikes. That was also a great comedic moment. It was very in character. Sceptile is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, so I don't like the fact that I paused him, uh, you know, on a screen where he's down for the count. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play now. But excellent job so far, Ham. Can't be the best with the ones that I caught, so you know the most are going back in the box eventually. I just hope we can all remember what our time here meant to me. Because I got several enemies on the frontier. I ain't even worried about the ones here. Had to smoke a J and let my lungs clear. Make the one minute feel like one year. But I feel like I'll never be grown. Make a full minute feel like one year because, you know, that get Garatina with the time control once again. Very good rhyme, uh, but it also works in character. Like, I, I don't always want the rhymes to be about the anime. That could have worked without the anime, which is, again, to me, a testament to how good Nerdcore is. Because if you can take the subject matter away and the rhyme still works, that is perfect. Up. And my day is eventually coming up Back in power again But I'm bound to begin a new journey Right before the sun is up Unibub, we can venture in unison To get the travel to region You and I, a unit as one yeah. Okay, hold on, who was this? Because this is, I, I, I noticed it switched there, but Oh, this is the Kevin Bennett. That makes sense. So Kevin is incredible. He he's known for his incredibly long verses. At least that, that's what I know. That's what I relate to Kevin Bennett. Which is why, as much as I loved the Mario Cipher, which he put out, he didn't give himself enough time for. I mean, it was you had what like four bars. So uh, really, these have been some long verses so far. I can't wait to see what he's able to do with Ash here because yeah, the Kevin Bennett, he he got some pipes. Let's let's do it. Uh, we can venture in unison to hey. get the travel to region. You and I, a unit as one. Yeah. We're silent, kind of sewer plus seven iris two. Made a crew want to move in a place hey. so new. Located yeah. recruits have been chosen Ooh. for battle and lacing the boots. I'm looking yeah. so cool, cool like Crooked Down hey. and his pair of shades on my newer style. Wow. Grown up a lot, but she called me kid. Yeah. That's Iris playing like Google wow. Dolls. All right, you immediately get mad props for referencing my favorite song ever written. Like, yeah, I like Nordcore. Yeah, I like Billy Isle. My favorite song ever written in the history of music, Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls, and you work that into an Ash Ketchum cipher? Mad props. This is why Kevin Bennett got the reputation that he has. Doing the miles, hunting with you in the wild. I'm coming up with all of you in denial. My feet on the ground, cause no, I don't trip when I lose to a rival. Hey, flow aiming at y'all like a nice wider. Going off at the wall, but to find the mob. So divine when the boy got a snipe, he caught not alone. Tap pig, and we're not a dive. We gotta hone our skill with a dodge and a block. Come back, then we hit him with a counter shot. Team Rocket again, put a stop on the theft. I'm blasting them off, now the astronauts. Look at the trio, now we ain't basic. Flies in sight with the two my amigos. They do your bolt, they quake when I show up. It's time that you jet what you poke at a hero. They can freeze up when the league one by me, all toxic. Ash one, plasma, zero. Wanna see greatness? That got very unorthodox for a sec, and he ruled it back in, reeled it back in. I can't talk on all oh, that work. Ash one, plasma zero. Like I almost was worried he was gonna lose the scheme there for a sec. That was gonna just, you know, Beastie Boys drop the beat. But no, that worked. Why did I ever doubt you, the Kevin Bennett? Yeah. I'm not gonna look too far. Just take a little glance in the mirror. Even when losing the foes is when I'm improving the most. You win a battle, get some gratification, and feel yeah. even better. Rescuing the globe. It's not uh. so black and white. The pattern color wide, and my canvas bright with new tones. Do it for those. They're reaching for greatness. You could be champion. You hey. never know. All right, I think that's the end of the verse. And I'm gonna say this here before we go on to the next one. Black and white is my least favorite Pokemon thing ever in the, in the history of Pokemon. Like, like black and white sucks. The show suck. The games suck. This is the best thing to ever come out of black and white. I don't know how the Kevin Bennett worked some sort of magic to make the objectively worst iteration of Pokemon and make it cool. But my god, he did. Hey, don't count. Right. 
So McGuire is fantastic. He's actually known for his singing, or at least that's what I know him for. He's about a lot of hooks. He, he did a good singing part in the Mario Cypher recently, uh, which I know I brought up uh, two times in a row. But hey, it's a good Cypher. Check it out if you haven't. Also, I've reacted to it. Check that out too. But yeah, McGuire got one hell of a voice. He's done a lot of hooks. He's, he's If I remember right, he's also a producer. He produces some magic, if I'm thinking correctly. So let's see what McGuire's got on Kalos. I'm finding my battles, hey, hey, supersonic, they add on tell a flame of fellow, hey, hey, I'm much better than making some noise. Move like a ninja evading a void. Press on my chest won't be taking my voice. Legendary pick the game is a choice. Alright, out the out the gate, I'm gonna say I'm used to McGuire singing, and he sings in a very in a way that works for rap, and I'm not used to hearing him actually rap, so this is this is super cool. I wonder if we're gonna get a bit of a rap verse, and then he's gonna do his signature singing. If we don't get any singing, I'm still okay with that. I like it when people come out the gate and shake things up, do something different. Pokemon's doing something different. It's sorry, my bird did that. Pokemon's doing something different. It's you know, getting rid of Ash. Why not do something different here? There it is. You. I don't know where you go. I'm never scared beside you. So I'm never feeling low. I never will without you. Yeah. My father never doubts you. God damn, when it out is my play. Yeah. I can't pass it up on my chance. Yeah. That was sexy. There is no better way to describe that than sexy. Wow. I quite enjoyed that. Excellent work there, bud. Going from the rap to the singing, like it worked. We're about to start Connor Quest, who's opening with the traditional Aloha to the Alola, which is in like every single Pokemon cipher that it has the Alola region in it. It's become tradition at this point. So I'm not mad he's starting off with that because it's been done. They're doing it again, but they're doing it for a reason. These are callbacks, baby. Aloha to the Alola, peaks of the low grass, breeze of the coast, palm trees like a postcard. The new region of the same old Goha, soon to be no stars. Get into a row, let's settle in now, type of vibe. Gonna make it with a question, how rise the skies? A friend with strength, I'm your glad he's on your side. Trials are trapped and trials by the ticket torchlight. Horns bring trust, but lies can rock things up. Any baggage, let it air into this space like it was cosmic dust. Relationship that's on a stone's edge and full of cold pretense, but no a kind and gentle nature tends to lower their defense. I want the taught you back in booster seeds to unmask your potential like Kuku. We think you should push the boundaries of what you can be. Any doubt, cast me in it with a soon you'll see. You all knew this scene like a lucid dream. Years of choosing teams going through the leagues. Alright, that was awesome there. Truth scene like a lucid dream, uh, going through the leagues. Like that okay, that was cool. And to see if he keeps it going. I may have paused prematurely, but I'm really digging the scheme here. Wounded beat or in a few repeats, it's fight all still don't know what loser means. Can't do harsh battles if you suffer like the marshmallows, go a color and stand at the ocean sit run shallow. Gotta focus and you'll just be fighting ghosts like a marsh shadow. Give him a jolt of ten million votes, cool off in the seas, take a dip in the soap, stack goals like tote and pole, no coco nose is a winning result. If you got fuel, let's burn it. Take a lesson and learn it. Fucking up a storm, got a special blend stirring. Not a serving island, but an island serving. Riding, surfing, gliding, swerving, climbing, herding, fighting, vermin, right disturbance, finding purpose to fireworks and skies are bursting. That was a very strong way to end that verse. I'm glad he ended it there because that was just like that. Not quite a chopper style, but man, it was it was getting like getting there. Ooh, really enjoyed that. We were at what will be the last verse, at least what I assume it was the last verse, with Cam Steady himself, you know, uh, the master, uh, with, you know, an awful, frankly, like, let's just be honest, an awful series. Uh, I, I did not enjoy the um, Sword and Shield series just because I hate Scorbunny. So let's see if you can do what the Kevin Bennett did and uh, make me enjoy a generation that I did not previously enjoy. At least enjoy the MAO. I love the games. It's the coronation, feeling like my final destination through these foreign nations. Celebrate the victories, but history is forward facing. See me at the series, because my fate is fighting for the greatness. All right. Cam. Cam, you've been doing a lot lately. You've been really putting yourself out there. Are you, are you rapping this ass right now, or are you talking about yourself? I have a feeling you're talking about yourself, and I dig it. Well, I the run and she's back for one more track. This is my victory lap. I'm master class in battle rap. I got the mega ring rap. I hit the dance at Dynamax. Yeah, I got regions of artillery strap. Cause this is Ash and I got gal on the backs of their feet. I yeah. set my foot up in the stadium of faces in the face in the me. Familiar faces of the friends and family facing up.
Final chance to reflect. I'm so sad to see it all go, but no, it's time to take the next step. I got so much love for the villains. To me, you're really more friends. As I see that rainbow's other side, my heart will not forget. All those years we spent, those decades came and went. Look at how much we've all grown since I first overslept. I may not know your battles or your story or your quests, but when it comes to being you, just be the very best. Oh, that, that was not expecting that emotion there at the end. Like, I was prepared for some fire, and, and, and Cam, you delivered it. Uh, but that emotion there at the end, just... <whistles> and that was the Ash Ketchum rap cipher. Wow, that was, I was not expecting it to end on a note like that. Oh, my word. Now, obviously, we're going to do what we always do when we do these anime music reactions, uh, these nerdcore reactions, final thoughts. And this one is going to be tough. To articulate because usually I would say especially to cipher who had the best verse oh man that is tough They're like, like they all did something different you had that really not quite confident newbie verse that was you know with Zach B he did that I mean that was obviously intentional that's how Ash was when the show first started he really encapsulated that character plus it's Zach Zach can do no wrong but then you had the Kevin Bennett which was just perfect flow and then you know ham sandwich once again coming out with some perfect flow i may have flipped the two either way the point is they both did perfect in their own right and then cam comes out and cam is just like yo i'm gonna be aggressive because this is the championship and then he gets all emotional on us i won't lie i was actually expecting some of the aggressiveness like that from most of the rappers because ash is such a overzealous like you know go 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 type of character uh, but we really only got that from from cam and a bit from mateo and it worked well both ways but the emotional bit at the end i can't tell you guys who had the best verse you're gonna have to tell me in the comments below who you thought was the best because man i really don't know i think this was perfect this is one of those things i always like to ask hey if you're not if someone is not into nerdcore would this song get them into nerdcore and i think so i think you could get almost anyone into nerdcore with this because pokemon one of the largest if not the single largest franchise in the world almost everyone has got something they can identify with with pokemon especially with ash i mean pokemon fever hit america in what like 94 i think almost anyone's going to be able to have some sort of nostalgia for this and appreciate it. So yeah, th this is something absolutely show people who, if you want to try and get them into nerdcore and you know they like Pokemon, definitely show them this. There's some other great Pokemon ciphers you can show them after, also all by Cam Steady. But start with this one, especially considering what we're going through right now in terms of Ash leaving the show. But that being said, those are all my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments down below. And please do follow me on Twitter. You can also let me know there. You can find me at Bolt the Word. I am a nerdy news channel, not really a reaction channel. That being said, I love to do these reactions on weekends. It's nice, slow. It's fun to give you guys something to look. I just love showing this genre off to others who might not know about it. But I do cover the news, so please drop by every day for the news. Also, I am doing my live show tomorrow. I do have a live podcast coming out. The Countercast, where we're going to be talking about comic books, the modern MCU, video games, the whole nine. I got a great panelist. Links to their stuff will be in the description down below. And please do like, comment, and subscribe. We have almost hit that 1,000 subscriber mark, so I would love to see it get that big. I mean, we've only gotten this high because of you. This is all because of you. I can't say thank you enough. Thank you so much. So please do subscribe. And it's all been here in the Nerdosphere, because this has been Words of Paradise.